What's going on guys? I've got a 2006 Ford Explorer here and I'm gonna use this car to go over the fuel system. I'm gonna show you in detail where the fuses are, where the relay is for the fuel pump. I'm also gonna show you how it's wired. So the first fuse for us to check is gonna be down here. Behind this cover, which you remove by pulling down on that little pin right here, there's a small two amp fuse that provides power to the fuel pump relay. Whenever the key is in the on position, this fuse gets energized and it sends power to the fuel pump relay in order for that relay to turn on. So that's definitely something you're gonna wanna check right there. Now let's move under the hood so I can show you the fuel pump relay and the fuse for the fuel pump and also discuss more details about what the fuel pump relay does. So we're gonna remove this cover by pulling up on that tab here. Now right off the bat, I'll show you, there's a 30 amp J case fuse for the fuel pump. And that's this one right here. So this fuse, 30 amps, provides the power for the fuel pump as well as the injectors. Now your fuel pump relay is gonna be this one right here. And you can try tapping on the relay to see if it's stuck. Um, what I prefer to do is I like to remove the relay and install a known good relay. So for example, if your wipers work, you know your wiper relay works, that would be a good relay to swap in as a troubleshooting step. Now, I'll give you a hint as well. Uh, the fuel pump relay, when it energizes, not only does it send power for the fuel pump, it also sends power to the injectors. And it sends power to this 15 amp fuse right here, number 44. So what I'd like to do is before you start messing around with the relay, you can measure to see if you're getting power at this fuse. If you are getting power at this fuse, then you know that the fuel pump relay is getting engaged. You know it's working as well. Uh, but let's discuss the pins for the fuel pump relay. This pin that I've marked in red, that carries power from this 30 amp fuse. And when the fuel pump relay is energized, it takes this power and it sends it to this pin. This pin goes to your um, inertia switch, which is a, a switch for the fuel pump. It's basically a safety device that cuts power if your car is in an accident. Now the relay is controlled by these two pins here. This pin, you should measure a constant ground. This pin just goes straight to ground. This pin right here, I've pointed out to you that two amp fuse inside the car. That's what this uh, receives power from. So you should see power here from that two amp fuse whenever the key is in the on position. Now, when this is engaged, it sends power, of course, to this fuse for the injectors, but it also sends power to the inertia safety switch. So I'll point that out to you as well. The inertia safety switch is on the passenger side, and it's definitely one of my go-to things to check if I'm not getting any fuel. So if it has gotten triggered, normally by hitting a speed bump really hard or running off the road or in, getting in an accident, you can reset it by pushing down on the top of the button there. These do fail though. And so you can test them. You can see there's two wires going into it. Now when the fuel pump, is in, when the fuel pump relay is engaged, it's energizing the, uh, the violet green wire. And if the switch is working properly and it hasn't been triggered, it takes the power from the violet green wire here and it passes it to the green white wire. That green white wire, it doesn't go directly to the fuel pump, but it instead goes to your fuel pump control module. So let's go take a look at that. These are all things that are good to check before you, uh, you know, commit to dropping the fuel tank to change the pump. So your fuel pump control module going to be back in here. This is a basically a computer controlled thing. That's it right here. It's computer controlled and its function is to vary the amount of power that's going to the fuel pump. Let's see if I can get in here. So there's the connector for it. Now when the when the fuel pump uh, relay sends power to the inertia switch, that inertia switch is supposed to send that power on to your module here. 
and that power comes in through that violet white wire right here. So you should be measuring power at that wire. Now this also has to receive a ground and the ground comes in on a brown green wire. So you should see, let's see. Sorry, a green black wire, I think. I think I misspoke there. So you should be seeing a ground there. Now, there are wires coming off of this module that power to the fuel pump. Those are the yellow, green, and the, uh, the white brown. So the white brown wire all the way down there at the bottom, that goes to the fuel pump and it carries a ground. And your yellow gray wire here, that carries power to the fuel pump. So yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys in troubleshooting the fuel on your Ford Explorer. Please let me know if this is of any use, if you've got any questions, or more importantly, if you've got any advice about troubleshooting the fuel system here. And thank you for watching.